Cryptocurrencies are creeping into the mainstream with estimates that about one in six Australians own a digital currency. The Senate inquiry is now looking into ways to regulate the industry to protect consumers. Michaela Jurek runs a cryptocurrency exchange called Bitcoin Babe. Her business is registered with the financial crimes regulator Austrac, but she's been denied services by 91 banks. I originally opened a bank account with Commonwealth Bank. Uh, it was shut down around six months later and since then it's been a domino effect of account closures. Liberal Senator Andrew Bragg says Bitcoin Babe's experience is not an isolated case and banks are using a regulatory gap to justify banning crypto startups. His Senate inquiry is looking at ways to police this space. It is not regulated. So at the moment people are purchasing cryptocurrency, but they're doing that without any kind of consumer protection. There are 400 digital currency exchanges in Australia. Around one in six of us own cryptocurrency worth $8 billion. In the first half of this year, more than $25 million was lost in Bitcoin scams. That's compared to almost $18 million in all of 2020. Unsurprisingly, banks are sceptical about cryptocurrency. But while they've been accused of anti-competitive behaviour, they point to anti-money laundering and counter-terrorism financing law risks. But Afterpay's deal with US tech giant Square could soon see Bitcoin become a widely accepted form of payment in Australia. The Reserve Bank is also looking at developing a digital currency. If Australia doesn't update it, its tax and its corporate rules to take into account the massive innovation that's occurred in the cryptocurrency space, it risks being left behind. A regulatory nightmare that's leaving some behind. Rihanna Whitson, ABC News.